Hello, okay, so we're gonna show you the full routine for the goats and especially the milking part. So um, when you get started, make sure you have all your tools here. So you're gonna need this guy, this dish, and you're gonna need a pail of water. This is the large pail, so um, you don't need a whole thing of it, just like half or whatever. Um, and then your milk pail. And you're gonna get started by putting um, the barley in here. So she usually doesn't eat the alfalfa, but we give her some anyway. So go ahead and scoop some um, barley. And I would suggest that you actually grab a second thing of barley um, and just have it ready for yourself because when you're learning right now, she's gonna get really antsy. She's gonna um, eat through the rolled barley super fast and it's gonna take you some time to milk her all out. So um, when she gets antsy, she'll start kicking the bucket. So you can just get up and give her the second one. Don't give her more than two scoops in, in the same sitting um, or day. So just two, but that's fine. And now, Go ahead and scoop one full scoop of alfalfa in here. And this is going to be for the little babies to keep them occupied out on the patio. So we are ready. And just place that here. And you can open up the gate. Hey guys! Okay, so they're <laughs> they're coming. So I'm gonna try and beat them um, here. So see, they usually know exactly where they're supposed to go. Okay, follow. So see, Mia just went straight. She goes straight to her um, stanchion and she starts eating. Now, if you can record her face. So this is the trick to get her to put her head in the stanchion. Just like cup her nose. So I just block her and then she puts it in and you don't have to do anything and we're ready to start milking and give her some scratchies and um so now you want to take the a wet cloth and just get those milk plugs off of her teats so the milk dries up at the end of her teats and you need to get that off or else it will be very hard to milk her. And she's got a very full bag, so. Um, and then you can also use some bag balm if you want. I just keep it here, just like Vaseline. So I um, rub that on my hands and then grab the milk pail and I um, straddle the stanchion and put this right underneath her teats. And also, Sam, if you could like look at this, you're probably gonna wanna watch from behind here. So this is a full bag, okay? And then you'll see as we get done milking, this deflates a lot. So you start off by, like I said, pinch off the top and then da -da -da -da, squeeze out with your other fingers. So pinch and then squeeze. Pinch, squeeze. And I would recommend that you um, only do one hand at a time and also keep this on, keep your hand on the bucket at all times too because she's gonna, while you're figuring this out and kind of fumbling around down here, she's gonna be like, what is this human doing? And she's gonna kick the bucket. So this way you can either um, catch her leg in the air or just move the bucket real quick. So. So um, her udder, this, the right chamber that I'm working on is starting to get really uh, deflated here. So I'm gonna probably switch over to the other one. See, there she goes. Now that's why you wanna hold on to the bucket while you're doing this. Okay. 
And she probably, is she out of barley? Is that why she's doing this? Look, getting low. yeah, you can point it. Mm -hmm. So this is why I said, um, have another thing ready because it's going to take you a while to learn. And this will just, a big piggy. yeah, that'll just help you out. So this is going to buy you like another 10 minutes <laughs> of milk time where she's not. Do you mind if I switch angles? Is that okay? Uh, sh I guess, yeah. yeah. I guess I don't have to, but. This is her angle, right. so. Okay, so this one's pretty deflated now. So I'm gonna switch over. I do my left hand with the left. I think that that really feels the most comfortable. Um, and I would recommend really, even if it doesn't feel comfortable for you, just go ahead and learn how to do it with your left hand. Uh, I personally can't imagine trying to grip mm -hmm. this. You can't really grip this the right way with your right hand. So same thing, go way up on her udder. So can you see this? Mm -hmm. I'm, yes. no, okay. I'm pinching way up here. Mm -hmm. Every time I do this, I'm really getting up in there. So. And I keep going this way until the stream gets pretty low. Like this yeah. is getting pretty, um, like a little trickle here. So at this point um, that you're not done yet, there's still milk in here. It's just that this angle is now not gonna really help get more out. So what you do is you switch to milking her from behind here. And so now you lift the udder up like this. This is just to get to strip this last bit of milk off and see how much is coming out now. And just go back and forth like this. and keep, you know, helping the milk move around. <laughs> well, that went everywhere. Yeah, they're playing out there. Yeah. Like that? Mm -hmm. I would call that done, okay? That's mm -hmm. a little bit much, but yeah, so. That one, that side's definitely done. And this side's done too. So she's good. That's quite a bit of milk. Um, and now we just let you go like that. You're all done. You're all done. And then you just give her some love. <laughs> she loves scratchies. Yeah. They're gonna break the windows when I know. Do. So then she comes down and she'll usually take a little drink out of the water that I grabbed, which is fine. Um, so go ahead and let her do that. Oh, They're just like headbutting out there. Yeah. You wanna put them away now too? Uh, yeah, sure, it's seven. Okay. All right, it's bedtime. So now to get them home, um, so I'm going to grab like a half a scoop of alfalfa again, because I think they've kind of tipped that over out there. So we'll go outside, Come on. make go. sure that Come on. nobody comes Come on. in here. Go. Come on, go, go. They will try to get in here. So now... It's bedtime, yeah. so we'll just try and coax them go. to go to bed. Come, Come on, guys. Hey, Colby. All right. Hey guys, come on. 
So just walk right in here. And come on, guys. And they'll usually follow you in. Um, and then just come back out here. Yeah, you'll have to kick this in yep. to shut it properly. Yeah, sometimes. Here, can you, here, can you see this? Look, just look. Yeah. Go. Um, they can put their heads where you are. Yeah, so sometimes you'll have to pull this hay back. Especially can you see it? Back. Yeah. In order to actually get it closed. But that should be good. And then um, I'll have a latch, a better latch for you. But yeah, just latch this shut and they're good. That's it. Okay. So cool.